Well, hello, and welcome back to Jeep Dude's YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on this tackle box. Uh, we got to start drilling out the holes for all the lights. Got to drill out the holes for the switches, which you already see. There was already a hole in this box. I was just messing around to see what it looked like. This little divider in this lid, we do have to cut out to make room for these switches to be able to function right. And then I'll show you how I'm going to run all my wiring. Okay, so I got to remove this switch so I don't damage it. So let me go ahead and remove that. And that way I can start cutting out that divider in here that we won't need. Okay. So now we got to cut out this divider, like you seen in the other lid, that that divider wasn't there. So, through the power of editing, I'm going to go ahead and off camera, I'll cut out this divider and I'll rejoin with you as soon as I get it done. Alrighty, as you see, I got that divider cut out. It's rough right now. I'm in the process of trying to smooth down these edges right here so it looks a little bit neater. What I'm doing is I'm just taking my soldering iron and going in here you know just kind of working it down just to make it look a little bit better of course since it's my personal tackle box I don't expect it to be perfect I'm not trying to make it perfect. I'm trying to make it functional. See, that's all I'm doing. Is just knocking that edge down slowly. It ain't the prettiest thing in the world, but it ain't the ugliest thing in the world. It's functional, and I got that edge all knocked down now to where it's somewhat smooth. Sides are all notched out. So, next thing is, is I'm going to be marking my holes for all my switches that I'll be putting in. So, I will join you in just a moment. Okay, you can see I got a little mark here. I put this one in backwards on purpose so I can get my spacing for how I want to do these. I'm going to use this little tool right here to, you know, make my hole. It'll probably about right there. And 
and I'll probably get this started and then I'll go through the back side to actually make the hole that way I can keep it a little bit straighter than that so now I got that hole started I'll probably put another switch here and then I'll have two more on this side unfortunately one of my switches actually broke so I'm going to have to go get another switch but that one ain't going to be in this video so let me go ahead and get you guys repositioned so you can see me doing this hole on the back side to make it a little bit bigger for that switch to go through alrighty and we're back and through the power of editing you didn't have to sit there and be bored with moving the camera around and stuff so we're on the back side right here is the hole that I punched through so once again we're going to use this little tool and we're just going to make that hole big enough to be able to run that switch in there you just put it in there and you start reaming out the hole Every so often you take the tool out to clean off what you're reaming out. But... Then you get so far. And we're going to have to do the front side a little bit here. Try to even it out just a hair. Then you want to make sure that you don't make your hole too big, but you want to make it just big enough to where your switch will go through. So as you can see, we're going to have to make it just a little bit bigger. So let's flip this back up again. Let me get you readjusted where you can see. Oh, there we go. We'll keep rooming out this hole. Alright, let's see if our switch will fit yet. Not quite. We gotta go a little bit further. Them to the front side so I make sure I'm knocking off the birds from the plastic. Okay, we're just about there, so we just gotta go a little bit further. Alright, let's try that. Take the burrs off. See what we got here. Alright, let's go on the back side and knock the burrs off and also even out the hole here. And just like that, the switch is in. I'll get you guys in a different position here so you can see it, don't worry. And this is the direction that all the switches wind up facing. Like I said, I only put that one in backwards so I can get my spacing to mark out my holes. 
So, now that you see me do one, I'm going to go ahead and off camera, I'm going to put in the rest of them. And I'll join back with you guys here shortly. Okay, so we left off where I was drilling the holes to put the switches in the top. I also went ahead and took the cover off the old lid and put it on here too. Um, as you've seen in my teardown video, I took off these lighter plug and USB port. I went ahead and decided to put them there. That way there wasn't anything extra sticking on the side. And you see if I open that up, there's a lighter plug in there on that one. And then on this one, you got two USB ports, and in the center of the two, there's a uh, voltage meter. That way I can monitor how, how much charge my battery has. Um, here's the switches. Open up the lid, there's the switches in there. I ended up discovering I actually have two broken switches, which are the two on the right side. But I'm going to go ahead and put them in place. That way I can at least get all the wiring hooked up. So when I get the replacement switches, it'll be just as simple as changing out the bad switch that are there. And then inside look, so far, there's what we got so far. Just went for a ride there again. There's the back side of the uh, lighter plug and the USB ports along with the voltmeter. I got some of the wires already in place. There is going to be a cover going on that so them are protected. If you look up, there's the back side of our switches there. And that's where everything will get wired up to. So, off camera so I don't have to bore you with putting the cover on this. For the lighter plugs, I'm going to put the cover on, which, here's the little cover that I'm going to be putting in there. I kind of modified it a little bit, you know, that way nothing can get in there. It'll just slip on the back, the wires will run through. That way it keeps the back side of those from getting broke or any anything touching these wires in the back and shorten out. So what video, I'm going to go ahead and put this in there. And then when we come back, we'll be running all the wire, wires plus getting the holes drilled for the lights. So, still lots to do, but we're making headway. Okay, so now that I got the cover in here to kind of protect, you know, the backside of those plugs and any kind of metal touching the wires, I got to do a little bit of notching on the plastic here, which I've already started, so I'm just going to take my trusty solder iron here. And then I'm going to try to knock down some of this plastic here. I don't know if you can see any of this on the video or not of what I'm doing. But basically the same concept that I did on the lid. And take out that divider. This way all the wires can run flat up in here. And not be in the way.
okay so now that we got those little notches out so I can run these wires for the lighter plug up through here I'll probably use some uh, hot glue just to kind of hold them in place they'll run around to here then then the power wires will go up to the proper switches the grounds will stay down here and where I'll have all the grounds meet up so off camera I'm going to do a little bit of running of these wires and I'll come back once I get these wires in place Alrighty, as you see off camera, I did a little bit of wiring, not a whole lot, but I got some of the wires ran up from the bottom here. As you can see, I got the wires for the lighter plug the, and the USB and voltmeter, I already got them ran up. That wire is the ground for the battery, but you see the grounds are over there where they was before. And then that ground wire runs up. Which this ground wire will daisy chain to all of the switches. But, that's not going to happen in this video. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the holes in for the lights that are going to go in here. Now, I'll drop you down so you can see. We'll have holes here, 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 and here. It's a total of six lights. Two lights on each side. And once again, I'm just going to use this little tool right here. And if you can't see what I'm doing, I'll show you once I get done here. I'm just using this the same way when I did the switches. Just to make my hole big enough for the light. Now we'll grab one of our lights. I don't know if you can see the hole. Right there's the hole that I just created. So we're going to grab one of our lights and see if the hole is big enough yet. Which that hole looks to be that it's big enough. So you see I just went right in there. And now, we'll do another hole on this side. Okay, so another hole is going to go right here. We'll say roughly by about right there. Alright, we'll grab another light to see if that hole is big enough. Which it is. I like being able to thread it in. It gives it extra security on here so that I know that they're not going to come out. You know there is another that goes on the back side of these lights to hold them in too. Okay. Grab my tool here. Now there will be two more on the other side just like this. And there's going to be two here along the back, which I'm going to go ahead and put the hole in for the back one. By about right there. Should work. And what these are perfect for is for nighttime fishing. 
so you can see your fishing lines or if you're flaying fish at night it makes it a lot nicer and the fact that they're also LED so it don't hardly use any of the battery Alright, let's grab our light and see if that hole's going to be big enough now. Yeah, we need to make that one just a little bit bigger. Take our tool and we'll just make this hole just a little bit bigger. Alright, let's try it now. And that one's starting to go in. Okay, so now that that light's in that you can see now, we're going to go ahead and do one over here. Try to get it somewhat even with that one. Should be about right about there. Like I said, this setup ain't perfect, but it's functional. And that's what I'm going for is it being functional and reliable. Alright, we'll test that and see if that hole's big enough now. But that one's definitely big enough. The light went right in with no problem. So, now we're going to do this side. So to make it about the same, it should be about right there. Again, I'm just using this little tool to make my hole. Okay, let's go ahead and test that one, see if that hole is big enough. Just a little bit more. Alright, let's see what we got now. That's perfect. Make sure 
my wires ain't getting too tangled up in here. Okay. Now we gotta do the last hole for the last light. That should be about I would say about right there. Which I think I made that hole a little bit too big, but that's okay. And there it is. Now we'll take our little wire, or the little nuts that go on the back of these lights and put them on. Now let's get this box turned here. Don't worry, I'll get you in, guys, where you can see what I'm doing. So with these, you just stick the wire through here, like that. And then you just thread them on. Like so. And you go through, and I'm gonna do this the same for the rest of the for all six lights there. So in tomorrow's video, we will show you how to do all the wiring on here. So make sure to tune back in tomorrow. And as always, have a nice day.